what is going on squad so join me on the floor as we talk about these two amazing revolutionary measurable isometric devices all right so to my knowledge to our knowledge these are the only two devices like this that are out there being sold as a complete fitness unit all right so let's talk about the differences between the two because I don't know if anyone feels the same way as I do, but imagine spending money on the ISO chain and then they drop the ISO max and now you're just like, well, I just spent $4.99 and they just come out with the superior version just like, dude, you know? So without the immaculate powers of foresight at our disposal, I want to talk about the differences between the two and let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is the chain, okay? So the chain, is very noisy and the first thing that we need to notice when we're talking about working on the chain links is we have to figure out exactly what chain link we use for each exercise okay so if we use chain link 25 for bicep curl and we want to adjust the chain link we have to take this out here all right, and put it at a different chain link. It's not really difficult per se, but I will say that it is a bit time consuming considering that there's no numbered chain. So when you get your ISO chain, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it, it worked for Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee's old ISO chain didn't even have any tech on it, okay? So what we had to do, we had to be innovators and we were just so excited about getting these crazy strength gains and carrying horses on our back that we decided to tape every five chain links. So this was actually not my idea. Um, this was someone on the ISO chain isometric users Facebook group um, created by John Duquesne himself, uh, owner of Dragon Door, okay? So he created that and then, that if you're not a part of that, I highly recommend that you go join it. Um, it's on Facebook called ISO chain isometric users group and um, a lot of innovative ideas this was one of them because if we forget the tape isn't on there every five you gotta painstakingly count each one and then it's really annoying when you think that you're going to the next chain link and you end up counting down instead of up everyone's done it i've done it my clients have done it you know we've all done it and you know it's just kind of like a, we joke about it and it is what it is but that's just what we had access to okay uh, nothing wrong this is designed for even the tallest of individuals. I think they had a couple of uh, YouTube shorts. Uh, one of my tallest clients was well over 6'5", and you know he was able to fully extend his shoulder press just fine. The noise. All right. I already walked through a hotel lobby with that. It gathers attention, and I think I brought this up before. I really don't care about it. I'm gonna get my gains regardless, but it's noisy, it's clanky, and if you wanna get a quick lift in at night, you know, and you don't wanna wake up everyone else in your house, probably not a good idea, all right? You have to be really careful about it. Or if you have carpet, and even that won't save you all the time, they'll just, there's still the base plate itself, which is solid metal, all right? Other than that, okay, we have our bar, and this is the old 1.0 bar. I don't know if you can see, like, the little hole here. Um, so this is, like, this is the oldest bar that I have. You know, still works. All the, the functions and, and everything are the same. Um, the ISO max bar is a little louder, so we're going to get into that in a second. But other than that, ISO chain is a bit cumbersome, as far as portability is concerned, but it's still fairly portable as I've, and many of our subscribers have brought it along to wherever they were traveling to, you know, and with no issue. The overall function of the ISO chain is fantastic. It still does what you need it to do. You, have, you still have measurable isometrics and the modes are really what make these devices shine. The load mode, if it was just a, a force generator, I mean, it, it would still be helpful, but I mean, it's the fact that you have the mode, uh, which is what's the real selling point. That's where the uh, price comes from, okay? So let's talk about the ISO Max, all right? And so I'm gonna turn this unit off. And the first thing that we're gonna notice here is that the bar is bigger. So I've, I mentioned this in the ISO Max review and uh, unboxing, all right? But uh, it's all the same modes that we need to be successful in our training, okay? But also, 
what you'll notice is that this ring points straight down. This one is at an angle. So you have to, right here, both of them are pointing straight down. But you see the difference, right? So this one is at an angle, and this display is pointing straight up. Might not seem like a really big deal, but it is. It just makes a huge difference when we're out training and we don't have to worry about having at a 45 degree angle. Um, it's pretty intuitive, but if you have someone just trying it out for the first time, it just feels natural. It feels natural, okay? The other elephant in the room are these, okay? And this seems like it's not really a big deal, but I, I promise you, if you've worked on the ISO chain for any amount of time, please know that I'm not slandering the ISO chain. The ISO chain is still a fantastic product. I regret nothing for the last two years. I regret absolutely nothing, but counting the straps is significantly easier. It has cut precious seconds off my training times, in fact, minutes. And the fact that it's already a short workout, I mean, I can, you can get on here, let her rip, and you're done in like five to 10 minutes, you know, without all the clinking. This is very light, very light. Um, it's easy to hold. This is not going to slide. I know that I've slid a couple times on the, uh, on the metal ISO chain base plate, especially having it out on my floor here. Okay, and, and again, it's fine. It's, I feel like I have to nitpick. But uh, other than that, we have the solid base here. So if you see the plate for the ISO chain, it's steel. And then this is, I believe they said it's um, um, super hardened plastic here. Um, this is solid. You think that it looks flimsy, it isn't, okay? And when you're pulling with these multiple forces, there's some flex and the flex is there to simulate the spring. All right, let's, speaking of spring on the, on the ISO chain, speaking of spring, let's talk about loading reflex, all right? So we haven't talked about loading reflex. And in fact, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what that is, here's a link right here. Go ahead and check that out because one of the things that uh, a lot of us were kind of, not skeptical, but concerned about was, is this going to have a loading reflex? But I can tell you that with the nature of the strap, even not having the spring, okay, there's plenty of loading reflex, all right? And when we pull, all the forces are still evenly distributed, all right? So there's going to be no loss in the accuracy of the Isomax. Speaking of base plate, it's noticeably smaller. If you can see them back to back here, the base plate actually takes up less space. And that's great. I can actually finally put this in my Under Armour bag and it fits. This is super portable. I mean, I am incredibly happy. And when we go traveling this summer, it's gonna be really nice to put the Isomax base plate in the bag. The other major difference is that the Isomax actually comes with resistance bands. So the resistance bands you wrap around a long way. See, so there's a groove on the bottom. And so now we can do dynamic warmups with the resistance band. And that's a great option, especially since we actually produce more force when the muscles are warmed up versus when they're cold. And that makes total sense. It, it makes sense dynamically and it would make sense statically. Otherwise, not too much to cover all of the greatest features of the ISO chain are now in the ISO Max, but lighter, more portable, and quicker to use, and a lot more intuitive as well with the number. Does that make the ISO chain obsolete? That is the question. And my answer to that is no. It's still a very viable piece of machinery, and I have no intention of getting rid of mine. In fact, strap, chain, both great pieces of equipment. One is better, but that doesn't make this useless, all right? Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> it feels like you're making me choose between my favorites and it's it's hard because they're, they're both good. I still use this, all right? Uh, but what are your thoughts? Uh, what do you think about the Isotane and Isomax? All right, go ahead and comment down below. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to drop a like, go ahead and comment. Um, if you'd like to take your support for No Limit Squad a step further, we have a Patreon in the description box below if you want to sign up um, for only a dollar a month. Help us out. Really appreciate it. And if you're not yet part of the squad, hit that subscribe button. Come join the squad with us. We'll see you next video. Peace.